I'm Deanna from the Pilates Studio. Thanks for joining me today. This uh, mat work class we're going to do um, today is going to require a mat and two tin cans. If you've got one, two, three pound weights, you can grab those as well, but you don't need them. Uh, what I do want you to make sure is you do have some cans because we need to use them for specific kind of rolling movements through the, through the workout. All right, we are going to start. So I'm going to get you to stand at the back of your mat, both feet pointing forward, and they should be hip bone distance apart. Okay. And again, my head's usually cut off for this part, but that's all right. Now from this position here, just rest your arms at your side. And I want you just to shift your weight forward and back into the feet. So just feeling the weight shift towards the front of the feet without letting the feet come off the mat and then back. And you can feel how the muscles in the legs kind of react differently as you shift forward and as you shift back. And then I want you to find a position where you feel like the weight is evenly distributed between the heel, the baby toe, and the big toe. Okay, and I want you to try and keep that feeling as you Inhale to reach your arms out to the side and up, and then exhale, lower the arms, let the chin sink to your chest, start to roll forward nice and slow without letting the butt go back. And you're again trying to keep that weight even on the feet, so you're not shifting your weight forward. You inhale at the bottom, then you exhale, draw the abs up, and same thing, you're rolling back up, keeping that weight nice and even, inhaling at the top, reach the arms up. Exhale, folding forward through that spine. Use those abdominals to help stabilize you as you roll forward. Another inhale. Exhale, draw the abs, pull those ribs up as you roll through. Last time, inhale. Exhale, rolling through. Once your hands are down onto the ground, walk yourself forward. One, two, three, four. Bring yourself into a tabletop position. Knees under the hips, hands under the shoulders. And think of reaching your chest away from the, the floor. So you feel your shoulder blades separating. Your head is still lifted between the shoulders. And then let those shoulder blades come together a little bit. So they almost squeeze in a little bit together and then reach apart. So together and apart. So if you breathe out as they come together and inhale as they separate. There's not a lot of movement in, in your back. So if you're not sure, if you have a look at me again, as I move through my shoulder blades, the spine really isn't doing a heck of a lot. You're trying to isolate the movement through that upper back. It's harder than it looks. It's one of the most difficult things to do in Pilates. And then I want you to find somewhere where you feel like your shoulder blades are nice and wide and flat on your back. I want you to bring your knees further back behind your hips now, tucking your toes under, and then exhale, lift into your plank position. Okay, again, this can be done on the elbows now if it's too much on the wrists. And then exhale, let one knee bend towards the floor, bring it back up. Exhale the other. So you're trying to keep your hips lifted. Starting off with the, with the bang today here. And again, always thinking of that chest reaching away from the floor. Shoulder blades are nice and wide and flat on your back. Double legs if you're up for it. And up. So the hips aren't meant to move too much. Okay, the knees don't have to touch the floor. It's the, the movement of them bending towards the floor. Shoulders burning in. Three more. Three, two, last one. And then I want you to bring the knees down, tuck in around the spine, and sit to the heels. Fabulous. All right, coming onto your back now. Knees are bent, hands are going to be behind your head. You should be able to see your elbows in your peripheral vision. And I want you to go into an imprint. So the lower back gently presses towards the floor and the pelvis is tilted towards you. Exhale, curl the head and shoulders up and hold it. Okay, so again, the hands are to support your head. Lift your right knee up so it's bent over your hip. Keep that imprint, tap the foot down and up. Five times on each leg. Three, keep your head and shoulders lifted. Four. Five, switch legs. Keep yourself lifted, right? You're trying to really focus on keeping head and shoulders up. Three, four. Now keep this leg up. Curl the head and shoulders up more, lift both legs up. And again, you can have the head down if it's a little too much. Tap one foot down. As that leg comes up, switch. As your foot taps to the floor, 
Squeeze that butt cheek. So if your right foot's tapping to the floor, see if you can squeeze your right butt cheek. Curl the head and shoulders up. Don't lose the crunch. You can do it with the head down, like I said earlier. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One. And then head and shoulders come down. Just bring the knees into the chest for a second. Fantastic. And then bring the feet back down so the knees are bent shoulder width apart. Grab your tin cans. You can use the weights if you want for this one. Um, palms are facing in so the hands are right above the shoulders. And I want you to exhale, squeeze through the glutes and lift your hips straight up. So you're holding this bridge, both butt cheeks are squeezing, the feet are flat and think of just like in the warm up, the weight is distributed evenly between the heels, baby toe and big toe. We're going to start with some arm scissors. So exhale, reach one arm back, one arm behind, one arm behind, one arm down and switch. So as your arms are opening up, you want to keep that nice solid glute squeeze and that nice straight spine. So you want to avoid popping kind of your ribs up or arching your back. Shouldn't be creating any tension through the neck and shoulders. Three, two, one. Keep your hips lifted. If you need a break, you can come down. Inhale, open the arms out to the side, exhale, close. It's a nice way to stretch out through the front of the shoulders. Keep those glutes squeezing. And again, if you want to come down, if it's bothering your back, your hip, or you're kind of tired today, go for it. So this is the nicest way, again, to warm up the, the shoulders a little bit. Three, two, one, perfect. Now I want you to roll that spine all the way back down and then just bring yourself all the way up. You are gonna need your cans for this one. So the cans are gonna go flat to the front. Your ankles are gonna go on top. So these roll, right? So you should be able to bend your knees and bring the cans under the arches and then roll your legs straight, okay? Perfect. So legs are gonna start straight, arms are reaching forward, sitting up as tall as you can, take a deep breath in, exhale, tuck the tailbone under and roll just a little bit off the sit bones and hold it. Then I want you to bend both knees in. So this is like our half roll back position, right? So really scoop under, now exhale, roll one leg straight and back in. When you're rolling the leg straight, squeeze the thigh, flex the foot, excuse me. You go nice and slow and controlled. The cans should be behave themselves. But if you need to adjust again, go for it. We're gonna go into double legs if you're comfortable. Five, so both legs at the same time. Inhale in. Exhale, two. Three. Four, last one. Five, hold the legs still, take an inhale. Exhale, flex forward reaching to the feet to give yourself a little bit of a stretch and then restack it up and you put the cans aside for now we're going to go into our uh, first version today of a double leg stretch so lying on your back both knees are going to be up tabletop you're going to grab onto the tops of the knees curl your head and shoulders up okay I want you to really pull that chest up and forward on an exhale both arms are going to reach back both legs are going to reach out circle the arms around bend the knees in for 10, that's a one, two, really keep those head and shoulders lifted as the arms reach back, don't let your head drop, four more, last time, and hug it all the way in, and roll yourself up, we're going to go into some side bends now, I'm going to do it with my elbow bent, you're more than welcome to do with your arms straight. Today I've just picked the elbow bent one. So it's gonna be under the shoulder, bottom knee bend, top leg straight. You're gonna lift yourself up into your side plank position, okay? So you're wanting to create a straight line, pubic bone, belly button, center of the chest, tip of the nose, okay? A lot of people do it with their head like this. It's kinda of hard to get used to, but you do wanna kinda of do it like this, where your neck is in line with the rest of your spine. Perfect, then you're gonna exhale, lift, and lower the leg, then you're gonna lower and lift the hip. Lift and lower the leg. Lower, lift the hip. So 
So you're always coming back to your nice straight plank position. I'm doing it with the bottom knee bent because I find it isolates a little bit better on the side of the waist. So remember when you drop your waist, the bottom waist is lengthening, then when you come up, it's shortening, like you're doing a side crunch. Three more. One. Two. Three. And before we go to the other side, you're gonna come onto your stomach, press yourself up into a plank position. Fantastic, love it. All right, so legs are together for this one. Press the heels towards the floor. Tap one foot to the outside of your mat, bring it in. The other one. This is the one I, can't, I used to, I said one of the earlier classes, I used to do this on the paddle board a lot. So you tap your, your foot into the water and then back onto the board. Oh, soon come, hopefully, soon come. So this is this great exercise to get those hips moving while working on your upper body and your core. One more on each side. And then bringing the knees down. Just a quick sit back and up to the other side for your side bend. So elbow on your shoulder, bottom knee bent, top leg straight, lifting into your plank position. And again, trying to get that nice straight line. All right, you're gonna lower lift the top leg, lower and lift the hip. Okay, so your top hip, bottom hip, both of them are working. Side of your waist is working. So really focus on that crunch up. If you think of using that under side of your waist to lift you back up, Again, a lot of times with these ones, it's that small movement and just focusing on the muscles you're meant to be using, especially in that side of the waist as you're lifting and lowering. It's not like your arm pressing you up and down every time. Two more. Perfect, and then release it all the way back down. Now, we are gonna do a combination, rolling like a ball into a teaser position, so it should be interesting. So I want you to start closer to the front of your mat, just so you don't roll all the way off the back. You're gonna bring your legs together, roll off the sit bones, and then lift the feet up, okay? So I'm gonna get you kind of hold on to the shins here. We're going to roll back on an exhale. You can inhale if you'd like, if it feels more natural. So we're gonna go through that first part. Roll back, roll forward. Then once you get here, you're still balanced behind your sit bones, you're gonna reach the arms up. That's stage one. If you've got the, the strength today, you're going to reach both legs up as well. Bend it in, tuck and roll back. Balance, reach. Bend it in, tuck and roll back. And reach. Really think, scoop the abs in as you roll back. Try to roll back just between the shoulder blades as opposed to behind the neck or behind the head. a great way to move through the back. Two more here. One more. I think my counting skills are off today, that's okay. And bring it all the way back down to the mat. All right, moving on with more abs, single leg stretch. Head's gonna stay down to start. You're going to imprint, lift the legs both into a tabletop, okay? So knees are bent over the hips, abdominals are squeezed in, okay? Checking myself here. So knees right over the hips. This is not so great to start, okay? Hands are gonna come behind your head, lift the head and shoulders up. Pull your chest a little bit forward and hold it. Now take your left knee, pull it in, extend the right leg out. And think of using it to pull yourself up higher and then switch for 10. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, double pump. So, seven, six, 
five, four, keep it curled up, two, one, and bring it down. All right, a little quick interlude here. You're going to bring your right leg straight. You're gonna have your arms out to your side and bring your left knee bent over your hip. Okay, we're gonna do our leg circles. So on an inhale, you're gonna allow the leg to come in towards the center of your body and then circle it away outwards, away from your body and back to the start. So inhale, exhale. Now you can do this with your legs straight and I'm holding mine up because my hamstrings are, hips are really tight today. Okay, so you can do it, the leg, full leg, okay? If you're like me and you, lots of hamstring tension, you can do it with the knee bent. The idea is to work through your hip. Trying to keep the pelvis as stable as you can. So as your leg circles away from you, you don't want to follow it with your entire body. You're just trying to stay nice and still. Switch the direction. So it's exhale to the outside, inhale through the center and back. Once you come up here next time, just swap it over. So just switch sides, knees bent over the hip. You're going to inhale towards the middle, exhale away. And you'll feel the weight of the leg as it reaches away from the center of your body. Your entire body wants to follow. So that's where your abdominals come into play. So as your leg reaches away from the center of your body, think of squeezing those abs in. Switch direction. So exhale out to the side, inhale through the center of the body. The exhale just helps you engage those abdominals a little bit more. Three more here. Should hopefully loosen up those hips a little bit. One more. Fantastic. Now hug both knees into your chest. Curl your head and shoulders up. Then I want you to reach your right leg out, your left leg up. Try to get it as straight as you can. Curl yourself up. We're going to do our scissors. So we're going to exhale, reach, reach, reach. So gently pulling that chest forward as you come up. Double pump. For seven, six, curl it up, five, four, three, two, one, and hug the knees in and roll yourself all the way back up. Fantastic. Before we go any further, we're in a little bit of a stretch here. So the legs are going to come straight out in front of you, bending the knees if you need to, to sit up tall on top of your sit bones, hands resting on the shins. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, let the chin sink to your chest and roll forward through the spine, reaching to the feet. Take a nice inhale, then exhale, draw the abs in and restack that spine one vertebrae at a time. Take another inhale, exhale, flex forward. Now once you're forward, you're still on kind of top of your sit bones. Just gently reach both hands to one leg just to get a little bit more of a stretch on one side. And then on the other leg, same thing, just get that gentle stretch. Perfect. And then release it down. We are gonna go into a little bit of work with the cans just to give the, um, the abdominals a break, the flexion. So I want you to grab your hands, and this can be done uh, with the weights as well if you'd like, but you don't need more than one or two pounds for these. So let's just grab one, okay? So we're gonna have it in our right hand in a tabletop position. You're gonna reach, sorry, you're gonna reach the right arm straight out. Palm should face inwards. So your thumb is pointing up, your back should be straight. 
Then I want you to reach your opposite leg out. Back is still straight. Perfect. Then I want you to tap the can towards that knee. So you bring the knee in and tap. Exhale, reach out for eight. Nice job. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. Hold the arm and leg out. Perfect. Pulse the leg and arm up and down. Little pulses for eight. Seven. Try to keep the back flat. Five. You shouldn't feel a lot of moving around in there. Three. Two. One. Bring it in. Switch sides. So reaching that left arm out. Right leg is back. You're gonna inhale, tap. Exhale, reach. And it's hard to do this one. This is a good one to do when you've got a mirror around or you can pop your iPad or anything where you're videoing yourself, you can see yourself. Okay, reach the arm and leg out, nice and long. Really lift the chest away from the floor, pulse the arm and leg up and down for eight. Six, five, four, three, two, last one. And then bring it all the way in. Now we need both cans. The front of the mat, you're gonna be lying on your stomach with your legs kind of wide. Your heels should be a little bit wider than your hips. We're gonna need to work on our back extension. You definitely need the cans though. Okay, so you're gonna start with the cans pretty much under your wrists. I want you to point your feet and then just start with your head just slightly lifted. I want you to push your pubic bone gently into the mat pull or come squeeze your abdominals away from the floor and then think of taking your shoulders and reaching them away from your ears so you feel like your shoulder blades just slid down towards your butt a little bit and then on an inhale you're going to start to lift through the head and chest the cans will start to roll towards the front of your hands then you're going to exhale reach away oh, foot cramp foot cramps are normal with this exercise by the way Inhale, so if you're getting them, welcome to the club. And then your exhale, reach away. So the, the, the rolling motion of the cans is quite nice. And it helps you lift, it gives you a little extra arm work. And you're doing your swan dive prep with your arms extended straight, as opposed to we'll often do with our elbows bent and our hands at the side of our head. This can be done with a foam roller really well as, as the same kind of idea. Three more, so you inhale. Nice and long, that nice back extension. Keep your glutes strong, so squeezing the glutes as you lift up. Last time. And release it down. Just leave your cans off to the side, bring yourself up. And again, just round the spine into flexion and sit back to the heels before we get into our rollovers. So now that we did our, our spine extension, we're gonna go back into some flexion. We're gonna do our rollover. We'll start with the prep. And if you need to stick with the prep, stick with the prep. If you're up for the full one, be the full one. So the prep is gonna be arms at your side, palms down. You're gonna bring your legs into a tabletop position, okay? And I want you to think of crossing your ankles, opening your knees a little wider than your hips, you're in a neutral pelvis, so you should feel like there is a small gap between the lower back and the mat. And then the prep on the exhale, you're literally just doing a pelvic tilt. You'll feel the low back press into the mat and the tailbone barely feels like it's lifting. Okay, it's not this thing I see people doing all the time. You might feel your abs, but that's not the point. We're trying to get the, the connection really low down. So you're so you're feeling those abdominals just to connect. Anytime you're swinging yourself through things, it's not ideal. It's my lecture for today. Now the full one would be starting with the knees together today. Okay, we're gonna inhale to bring the knees into the chest. Exhale, start to roll up, reaching the feet behind and extending the legs straight until you are on the shoulder blades. Then I want you to open the feet up 
Hip distance apart. We're going to flex the feet and then roll down as controlled as you can. And then just bringing the legs together and bending the knees. So it's inhale, exhale. Flex and open. Pressing through the heels as you come down. The idea is you're using your upper body, but you want to use your abdominals as much as you can. Try to keep the head on the mat. Three more. Really flex those feet so you push through the heels and you should feel that awesome stretch back of the legs. Maybe one more. Once you come down, I want you to hug your knees into your chest and roll yourself all the way back up. All right, grab your, grab your cans again. And we're in a nice easy spine twist to kind of give you a break. So you're gonna sit, you or me, I'm not sure which one. Sitting with your legs crossed, you're gonna take your cans out and you're gonna turn your palms to the ceiling, elbows slightly bent. You can use your weights if you'd like for this one. You sit up nice and tall, okay? So you're right on top of the sit bones. And then you're gonna inhale, twist, exhale, come to the middle. Inhale, exhale. So we're gonna start with our single spine twist or a single um, rotation spine twist here. Just to kind of get us moving. So the idea is to try to keep your legs as still as you can. Movements coming through your rib cage or think of it as your thoracic spine, it's the middle of your spine. Now, we're gonna bring our arms up. Elbows are slightly bent. Take an inhale. You're gonna to exhale to twist and open your arms. Inhale, back up. Exhale, inhale. Think of reaching those arms really long as you rotate. Be feeling hopefully a little bit of shoulder work and hopefully loosening up through the spine a little bit. One more on each side. Perfect. Now bring the arms in front of you. Arms are straight. If you don't have the cans, don't stress. Just reach forward the hands. Take an inhale. Exhale. Let the chin sink to your chest and flex forward through the spine. You're just trying to reach forward, keeping the, the butt on the mat. And then when you exhale again, you're going to restack the spine all the way up. Take an inhale, reach the arms and the weights up. Exhale, lower the arms, drop the chin and fold forward. Exhale, roll back up straight. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lower, fold forward. Last one. Exhale, roll it back up. Inhale, reach. And then just lower the arms all the way back down. All right, so you can put those cans away for a second here. We're gonna go through the open leg rocker, which is one of my nemesis, or at least the prep for it. So we're gonna be sitting about centered of your mat. Feet are gonna be hip width apart. So feet and knees are both hip bone distance apart. I want you to roll yourself off of your sit bones, so you're just back of them. Take your hands behind your thighs and lift the legs up, okay? Elbows are out to the side. I think if you're trying to create a lot of flexion, a lot of abdominal work, as you roll back. So on an exhale, you're gonna tuck and look towards your thighs as you roll back. Inhale, roll forward and try to balance. So very similar to rolling like a ball. You're trying to maintain that balance coming up. If you wanna make it more difficult, once you get to the top, I want you to extend your legs, bend them, tuck and roll back. So you're balancing, squeeze your quads because you're trying to keep that weight just back of the sit bones the same as you extend the legs. All right, so if you don't try to use your thigh muscles to straighten your legs, you're gonna end up kind of 
sinking through everywhere else. And if you can, this is the nemesis, grab onto the ankles, legs come straight, and you're gonna tuck and roll back. Forward and balance. Woo. Note to self, don't put leg cream on your legs if you need to grab them. Woo, God. Two more. So whichever one you've decided to do. Oh. Amazing. Okay, we're almost there. We are gonna do a different version, our second version of our double leg stretch. So nothing required but your body here. You're going to be head down, okay? Arms are gonna be reaching straight up. I want you to imprint, lift your legs in a tabletop to start, okay? And then try to extend them as straight as you can, but you should still feel like your lower back is pressing into the mat. And I want you to exhale, reach the arms and legs away. Inhale, bend the knees in. Reach the arms up. Exhale. In. Exhale. In. Away. You'll feel your whole body wanting to go with you. And again, low back has got to stay pressing into the mat. If you want to try with your head and shoulders lifted, you can. So away. And in. If you're doing it with your head and shoulders lifted or even with your head down, the further your legs get away from you, the harder you have to work to keep your imprint. Three more. One more for good luck. And then everybody hug the knees into the chest, head can come down, and when you're ready, you're gonna roll yourself all the way back up and grab your hands. All right. My God, I told you it was a lot of abs. <laughs> knees are bent, arms are out in front, palms facing in, sitting up tall into your half roll back position. Tuck the tailbone under, roll just off the sit bone. So you don't have to be really far back, you just wanna be balanced. Starting with exhale, one arm up. Other arm, both arms. Then single arm, single arm, double arm, one more round, don't fall back, don't let those arms reach you back. Hold the arms up, okay? Perfect, exhale, rotate open, come to the center. Exhale, center. Two one more on each side, and center. And center, one more on each side. And then I want you to keep your arms reaching as you scoop up and over the legs, reaching towards the feet, restacking it up, bring the bottoms of your feet together, your knees open. If it's not comfortable, go back to the original leg position. You're gonna sit up nice and tall, arms in front. Try to keep your feet touching, exhale, roll it back. Exhale up, keep your pelvis tucked. Both arms. So your abs have to work hard when one arm lifts and even harder when both arms lift. One more on each side. Both arms up, exhale, rotate, and center. Your rotation's just through the rib cage. One more on each side. Keep the arms reaching and then scoop up and over, reach towards the feet. You can get rid of your cans, grab onto your feet and just gently pull yourself forward. Oh, nice and tiring. All right, and then we're gonna come up into a standing position to finish us off here with push-ups. So whenever we're doing our Pilates push-ups, if you can do really quality push-up with your knees off the ground, be my guest. Um, but I wanna make sure that your spine is straight, so I'll be doing mine with my knees down. Feet are pointing forward, hip distance apart, take an inhale, reach your arms up, and then exhale, lower the arms and chin, roll forward till you can touch the, the mat, walk the hands forward. Okay, now if you're gonna do the knees down, bring the knees down. I want you to inhale, bend the elbows out to the side, lower the chest, exhale, press up for five today. Two, three, 
four, five. Now lift yourself back into your plank position. Let the tailbone lift and start to walk your hands back. One, two, three, four. Roll the spine up. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, roll forward. We're doing five again. We're doing three rounds of five. So it'll be 15 push-ups. Adjust the number if you need to. Inhale, exhale. Two, three, four, five. Lift the knees up. Let that tailbone lift as you walk it through. Rolling back up. Last time, deep breath in. Exhale, roll it forward. Walking it in, last set. Inhale, lower. Exhale, up for five, four, three, two, one. Stay down here, guys, stay down here. Bring yourself down to the ground. Feet come wide, elbows come under your shoulders, and just press yourself up. All right, last stretch out here. Bring yourself up. I'm gonna take your, your cans out. I want you to, to sit again with the legs, hip bone distance apart again, bending the knees. If you need to, to sit up tall, bring the weights beside you. Fingertips are on top of the weights, okay? I want you to be able to sit up nice and tall. Take an inhale. Exhale, let the chin sink to your chest and start to let the weights roll forward as you flex and reach towards the feet. Hold it here though, okay? Take a couple deep breaths in and out. As you're doing that, on your exhale, see if you can press the cans forward more to deepen your stretch. Keeping that tension out of the shoulders. Just give a quick check that your shoulders aren't touching your earlobes. And then when you're ready on your next exhale, start to roll yourself all the way back up until you're sitting on those sit bones again. Take another inhale. Exhale, same thing. Flex forward through the spine. And just keep rolling the weights forward. Just gives you a little bit of feedback and a little bit of a stretch. Every exhale, see if you can go a little bit deeper. And the next time you exhale again, restacking that spine all the way through. Coming back and just crossing the legs and just leaning forward through the hips. Just one last little hip stretch. So today was a lot of abdominals. It was good though, it was good. And then cross the legs the other way. And again, leaning forward from the hips. Just seeing if I can get a little bit of a stretch through the glutes there. And then bringing it all the way up. You guys are done. Thanks again for joining me. And if you did enjoy the classes, don't forget to like us on Facebook and subscribe to us on YouTube. And I will see you next time.